Hello and welcome to the no-nonsense guide of how to install the immersive and pure mod list for Skyrim. So you may be thinking, in his next video, is it going to play the immersive and pure mod list and show off the contents? You guessed correctly, that's coming out next Friday, so do stick around for that. I will be changing my video upload schedule if any subscribers or viewers of mine are interested to once every two weeks because I want to improve the quality rather than just doing quantity all the time and not really putting much quality into my videos. So enough of that, let's now get into the guide. So first, what you want to go ahead and do is uninstall Skyrim by right-clicking, manage and uninstall. Once you've uninstalled it, basically go ahead and head into your Steam library folder, Steam apps, common, and go ahead and delete this Skyrim Special Edition folder. We're going to be doing this on the Skyrim Special Edition game. So once you've deleted this, this should remove all of the Skyrim files as well as anything to do with any mods you've previously installed. Do not worry, we'll not delete any of your old saves for the game. That is located in a different location, usually on your main drive or in the documents folder. Next, you want to go ahead and reinstall Skyrim. So just go ahead and click install. Once that's installed, you can then go ahead and check your new download of the game out. It should look something like this. So once you've reinstalled the game, what you basically want to do is go ahead and start a brand new save on Skyrim. Go through the whole tutorial level, escape Helgen, and basically get into the free roam stage of the game. This will basically show that the game is in a playable state and you can go ahead and install mods. Next, you want to go ahead and install the mod manager Vortex from Nexus. I'll put a link in the description, create an account, if you want to, I recommend paying for premium to get faster downloads if you're going to be using mods a lot on your computer. But you can do it for free, so don't worry, you will not have to pay for anything. Once you've got Vortex installed and your account here, you want to go ahead and head over to the Games tab from the Dashboard tab. Once you go down here, sometimes it will pick up the Skyrim game, but you basically want to just type in the Elder Scrolls or something like Skyrim, and it will pop up straight away. Select the special edition, which of course we have installed here. Once you've added the game into your Vortex mod manager, the next step is to go ahead and create two folders, one called mod store downloads or Vortex downloads, another one called Vortex mods. This is where your downloads for the mods will go. And of course your mods will be stored from Vortex. So where you actually go to map these directories, you want to go ahead and head into the settings tab, click the mods tab, then go ahead and locate where your said create folder is located. Obviously here I have Vortex Mods. In my download one, I have Mod Store Downloads. Once those are mapped and you have your game added within your games tab, now you want to go ahead and install the mod list. The link to this mod list will be in the description, but all you need to pretty much do is once you've logged in, is go ahead and click Add to Vortex. You want to make sure you're on the newest version, as you can see here, version 5, updated, on the 3rd of Feb 2023. Once you've checked that and it's only 13.8 gigabytes, go ahead and click Add to Vortex. Click Open in Vortex. Once you click Open in Vortex, you'll see the immersive pure mod list will start to install. You can go ahead and click on the mod list to check that. But next, what you want to do is basically go ahead and add this mod list to your current profile as you can see here, just click install now. You can go ahead and create a new profile if you really, really want to by clicking the profiles tab here and changing the name and create a new one through this window. Now, all you're gonna have to do is pretty much wait for the next steps, which is waiting for the mods to install. You can of course sit in this window and watch the mods install manually, or you can go ahead and click the plugins area and watch them fill in from the top here. But of course, if you want to check anything else, the best one is, of course, to click collections, click mods, and then basically watch them install from the top down by adjusting the status. Now, once all the mods have installed, you can go ahead and click deploy mods, which I've already done in the notifications bar. Also, check for any dependencies that are still waiting. And if they are still not being fulfilled, you can basically go ahead and see what it actually requires. And the next steps now are to go ahead and check the load order. Click plugins and go ahead and see your load order. Make sure auto sort is enabled, which will go ahead and sort all of your mods in a relatively decent order that you need to run them in. I would recommend just going through this mod list um, in the plugins menu and just checking what things are actually required, what's missing, 
and basically scrolling up and just clicking on the ones with warning triangles and there's little speech bubbles which will basically indicate what actually is the problem here a lot of them will clear themselves by restarting the vortex engine or the vortex mod manager so go ahead and close it and reopen it again and these should clear itself if they don't then go ahead and run the game everything should be fine as it is now once that's sorted what you need to do is go ahead and go to your dashboard and go ahead and click on the skyrim scripted sender 64 to start playing the brand new mod list you've installed and as you can see with a brand new loading screen and a quill for a cursor you can go ahead and click new start your brand new adventure if you want to see what the contents of this mod is please go ahead and subscribe to this channel drop it a like on this video and stick around for my next video next week where i'll show you all of the different things you can do within this mod list thank you all for watching and see you in the next video peace out